Hey guys, it's Syx here, and let me just project this. Okay, there we go. Uh, howdy. My name's It's Syx. Um, I'm here specifically for the Hitbox community and the app or program known as SubAlerts. Now, as a Hitbox member, a lot of us recently became subscribers or uh, partners overnight, right? So the problem that a lot of us have been having is there isn't the hitbox community isn't big enough and doesn't have a enough third party support yet for a lot of options as they have in twitch for all these little extras that we can throw on our streams such as a subscriber notification now the programs that have been popular out there you know i know a lot of us use sub alert um, some people use t notification but that only gives you your followers and your chat so what we're specifically aiming for here is that subscriber notification. Uh, this also works obviously for follower notifications and donations. I really like SubAlert and here's why since I found this out. In the past I've always looked for or I have looked for um, solutions to uh, not having to use monitor capture. I don't like monitor capture because I feel it gets a little bit laggy I feel yeah, it kind of bogs down the resources. Maybe the encoding's a little harder. I, I don't specifically know what it is, but if you're like me, I don't like to use monitor capture. But this also is a solution for those that only use one monitor. Let's say you just have a sweet gaming laptop, or you've got you know a, a nice rig, but just one monitor. You're not doing the dual monitor thing. And uh, Streaming can require two monitors at times, especially with all the background applications that you have running from music to your alerts to lotteries and giveaways to, you know, things like that. Or, you know, images, pop-ups, things like that that you want to view on your screen. Well, you can't obviously have that if you're using monitor capture on one screen because the game is the priority. And you'd have to have that pop up in front of your screen. So, in this case, what we have is we're, I've, I've found a solution, sort of. Um, I, I mean, I did find a solution, but it wasn't just me. I took information, I looked into it, and people, reviews, whatever you want to call them, setups, people would always say, use monitor capture with subalert. Because if you use window capture, it's buggy, sometimes it only works once and it doesn't work again, and yada yada. Well, I found out how to fix it so that it works consistently. So I'm going to preview this again, enable the view, because I'm going to need it because I'm going to set some things up here. So this is my subscriber button, yeah? This is what's going to come up when someone subscribes. Boom. Okay, cool. Now we're going to use the window capture. Pop. I'm, I don't want the, the mouse cursor in there or anything. I, j I just strictly want what's popping up there. We'll chroma key this right away. And... Very good. Okay, so this is our our new subscribe. All right, cool. We're we're off to a good start, right? So let's just test the animation. Cool. That's awesome. That works great, right? They get a follower. Follower comes in. Test the animation. Oh, why isn't that working? And this is the problem. And we'll, we'll I'll flick over right away. Does properties. Okay. Test animation. See? So it's almost like it needs to be reset every time, which can be a problem. Go over into... Start this up. We'll have this all set up. This is now in full, mo or full mode. I'm going to kick this off because it's distracting. Okay. So the trick is you have to right-click your window capture, bring it to properties, and we initially had this set to preview, and it defaults to status window every time because the preview is only there while it's in preview mode. Every time you hit test alert, test alert, test alert, it wants to switch back to status window. So when it does that, when you actually go to test it, you won't see it again that second time. Well, here's the problem too, that that's the, the glitch, let's call it, in preview mode. Well, we're obviously not gonna be running it in preview mode, in a live scenario. So live scenario, let's put main alert, that's where it needs to be. You hit OK and you can boom. Probably throw on that a little better. Looks like this at 50, this is 30. There we 
There we go. So there. That's the fix for that. That'll work every time. If you ever experience where... If you ever stop your stream and you start back up, you may have an issue with it um, registering again. Or if you stop your sub-alert, let's go back to reconfigure and start, it may not work again. And I'll show you the fix for that. Okay, here we go. We have a problem with that. All it requires is having a right-click, properties, okay, and it'll pop up. So that's what you can do every time. So when you first start your stream, once you get it rolling, just uh, right-click, properties, okay, and you're set. And then if you switch scenes, um, I had one active, I didn't have it active, but if you run like a scene selector like me, where you're popping from scene to scene to scene, if you use the window capture, it'll carry over from every scene kind of unglitched, which is perfect. So, if you click subscriber, I had it off, okay. Now, that's the drawback to this. If you ever, let's go back to scene one, see, it'll kick over. If you, if you create a new window capture for every single mode, you may have to, on first launch, have to right-click properties every single one of those. That's why I recommend if you just create a global source, got my webcam in there, but if you create just a global source, we'll turn this one off, we'll turn this one off, we'll global source it, add, add window capture, sub alert, whatever. Status window, main alert, no mouse capture, chroma key, 5030 was pretty good. There we go, there we go. Right click, add global source. Sub alert, yep, good. Next one, sub alert. There we go, very good. Now we'll, we'll go out of this program just like normal. Okay, and then we'll go back into the program. So now it's launched, and let's say I'm preparing to launch my stream. I'll just right click, properties, okay. I know it's gonna work. I can start it up. The subscriber will come across. And then I can switch scenes, and it's still there on the second scene. So that is really the best way to do this. And the beauty of it too is, like I was saying, you can do this on a single monitor. If someone comes through, you just have a single monitor, you can throw this on top of that, run things over the top of that overlay, and it'll run function. I got it doing another sub right after this just to show you. See? And it'll carry over. No problems. That's really the best way to do this. So, thanks.